Hi everyone, the layout today that I'm using the flashback uh, paper from Stamping Up. Um, I just got this the other day. I have no idea why I waited so long to get this paper. It is absolutely gorgeous. Perfect for my little boy. Uh, it's got some great colours in there for um, some great mail layouts and cards and everything. This is really cute, this paper. It's got little cameras, all different types of cameras and Polaroids and things on it. It's super cute. And I really wanted to use that because I took a photo of my son playing with his Lego. Um, and just wanted this layout to be about um, his obsession with it. I think I've done many of these layouts before, but I have lots of photos of my son with Lego. Um, <laughs> so um, I decided to... Um, use that blue pattern as my background with the black pattern on top and I did that because I really felt those photos stand out on that black because uh, there's so much light around the background of the photos and um, yeah decided to go with that strip of the camera paper down the side so I was just contemplating how big I wanted my black mat to be and then when I cut it, I made sure that I looked at the reverse of it because I didn't know what I was going to use the rest of this on. And because that reverse pattern goes a certain way, I just decided which side wanted to have the longest part. I don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> I get a little bit funny like that with my scrapbooking. Okay, so um, that's what my base was going to be. And then I pulled out some of the... Um, project life cards from the everyday adventure uh, collection that I thought might go with this layout um, and I decided to go with this one here that um, is a grid um, pattern on it with a little part that says the good life in the yellow which is um, they'll both uh, crush curry in the uh, project life pack and in the flashback DSP so I knew that it was going to match perfectly one of the bonuses was stamping up because you know they're going to match um, so hard to match some colors anyway so I thought that'd be a great um, card to use because I could do my journaling on it as well um, okay so then I grabbed out my star framelits because I thought I'd want to use that as my um, embellishments and then I decided, because I'm using black, it's always when I'm using black in my paper that I want to outline everything. <laughs> so I grabbed my Project Love journaling pens and outlined around my black piece and my blue piece. And it took me a while to figure out what I wanted to do with my embellishments. I knew I wanted to use those stars, but they just weren't working right, and I didn't know what to do, so I played around with it for quite some time, and um, I cut a lot of the video out because I was procrastinating a lot with them. <laughs> so I contemplated grunging up a star and using those as my embellishments, but I didn't go with that. It just wasn't working right. Um, so I sanded at the end of my edge of my photos so I just use um, the stamping up sanding block that they don't sell anymore <laughs> but you can use um, a nail file or just sandpaper um, anything like that anything with just um, that sanding stuff on it and I just put it on the edge of my table and run around the edge and it just gives you a nice white crisp edge around the photos instead of matting them so here I am again with my stars trying to figure out what I want to do. So I pretty much worked out where the three spots were that I wanted, um, but I just couldn't figure out what I want to do with these stars. So I went away and got some twine. So this is the Black Baker's twine. And I thought, yep, I want to use some of that on there. And then I grabbed my washi tapes and I found one from the Playground Accessory Pack um, that worked well with this. It had its little um, stars on the blue washi there. So I decided that I would put some of that in the three spots where I wanted my embellishment clusters to be. 
And as I was doing it, I realised I hadn't actually stuck down the camera paper yet, yet I was using washi tape across that onto the background. So that was a little bit silly. But anyway, <laughs> you just go with it. And once again with the stars, I was trying to work out those stars. Something was just missing, so I worked out what it was later on. So anyway, so I put my washi down and I was happy with that. And um, then I decided I was missing some other sort of shape. <laughs> That's what my problem was. So I grabbed out some circles, my circle punches, and some of the crushed curry cardstock. And I thought, yeah, this is what it was missing. So there we go. I eventually stuck down that camera paper. And then, of course, I had to outline that. Um, so I had to lift up my washi tape that I had there and um, outline that. So lucky with washi tape, it's so easy to um, pick it up off the off the paper and put it back down again. So now that that's outlined, I can stick down my photos because um, I was happy with where they were. And then I could work out my embellishment clusters. Um, so, I worked out I wanted these circles, so now I was just deciding what sizes I wanted. So I pulled out a couple of sizes of my circles. I decided I wanted that one smaller. So, um, I can't remember what sizes I pulled out, but I will put that in the comments section on my blog for this post. So I decided on a circle on each of those clusters, and then... Because they're a bit plain, I just wanted something on them without being too much, so I decided to emboss them. So I just pulled out um, some embossing folders and worked out which one I wanted to use. And I'm still playing around with the stars, figuring out what I want to do. Now this Project Life card, this black pattern one that I would pulled out to start with, um, I decided I'm going to cut some stars out of that. <laughs> I like the pattern, it suited it, but it was just too much in that block square. Uh, so I decided, yep, I'll cut some of them out. And then I chose the um, this arrow folder for my circles. So I went off and did that. And now just a matter of putting them where I wanted them. So it's quite a simple layout, but I find when you have um, more than one 6x4 photo, you don't need too much on your page so even though this looks like I've actually got quite a lot on there it, it, it's not too much um, I've just got um, you know matted background and some my three uh, embellishment um, points and that's really all I sort of needed <laughs> so when you've only got one photo there's plenty of room to do lots of embellishments and fancy things but um, more than one, I guess it gets a bit too messy. So I decided to stick everything down and I stuck most of the stars up with uh, dimensionals. So it gave it a nice different texture around the, the embellishment points. And I was really happy finally <laughs> with how these stars turned out. Um, it took a while. <laughs> but I was happy with it. Um, Okay, so I didn't stick that last star down because I was working out my journaling. Um, well, I hadn't worked out my journaling, I should say. So I um, left that one, but uh, worked out the twine here. So I just thought, just the, the, ra the randomness of the twine. Because I did my journaling. So I just ran the Project Life card through my printer. Because I don't like my handwriting that much. <laughs> So I do print it a lot. So it's just easy to run it through. Um, so I wanted to sit under there. So it didn't sit quite where I'd put the washi in the star. So I just had to move it in a little bit. But that's okay. As I said, it's easy to move the washi. Um, and if you're careful, it's easy to move the foam dots that I had that star up onto. Just be careful. They do rip a little bit. Um, okay, so, so I reattached my stars back there we go and now I'm super happy with my clusters exactly how I wanted it 
Okay, so back to my twine. So the twine can be um, a little bit tricky to stick down. So I've tried all sorts of things to stick down. I've tried um, running the twine over with tape runner, which just gets really messy because it all gets sticky. I've tried sewing it down, which can get a bit messy because the hole points tend to be a little bit too thick. I've tried all sorts of glue. <laughs> And the best way that I have found to stick them down is with um, Crystal Effects. Um, uh, that's a Stampin' Up brand, but there's um, Dimensional Magic as well that you can use. And I just put a few little dabs um, randomly along where it is. So here I go now. So it's just a few little tiny little dots right under where the twine's going to be, just and a few places along the edge. Now if I was making a card with the twine I would put a lot more dots but because this is going to go into a page protector it's not going to be too bad. It's not going to get knocked around. So um, yeah cards are a different thing. Um, twine with cards I try to actually wrap it around a mat on top of the card so that it's definitely stuck down um, but on a layout it's not too bad. So now what you can't see is I've actually got the new Stamping Up stapler. It's so cute. It's just a, a, a smaller stapler, a smaller staple in it. Um, and I've just gone randomly around the twine and put a few down. So it looks like that's how it's actually staying to the page. It's not really, but <laughs> it looks like how it is. Um, okay, then I got some of the um, candy dots in the neutral range. I put out some of the black ones and just put them throughout my cluster which I was really happy with. I love candy dots and if stamping up are you ever watching this enamel dots, enamel dots and all the colour families would be wonderful. Um, they brought out some enamel dots in the new Project Life Christmas accessory pack in the holiday catalog so I'm super excited that they might be bringing out more. Yeah. Anyway candy dots, dots are, um, are a good alternative to the enamel dot. They just give a nice little uh, finish to the clusters there. Okay so to do my title I grabbed my little letter um, framelits there and grabbed some of the Crush Curry DSP, one of the patterns out of the DSP for flashback and use that to cut out the word mad because I'm going to call this Lego mad. Um, so really cute and I used the black letters out of the Everyday Adventure Accessory Pack um, for my Lego and I just stuck that down. So that's my layout. Um, I was really happy with the way it turned out and you might be able to see a bit more of the details in the close-ups at the end of the video and you can always check it out at my blog which is scrapronnie.com and you can check out all my details there. Uh, including all the weekly videos and uh, of the, like scrapbooking and my card making and um, I'm really excited I've got a crop day coming up too so if you're in Brisbane you can check those details out on my blog um, my goal this weekend is to actually pack a kit for that so I might um, video that to share with everyone as well okay so I think that's about the end of my layout Oh, I was just sticking it down. Let's use those crystal effects um, to stick down my letters as well. So I'll know that they will not move. Okay, so um, thanks for watching everyone. Please leave me some comments. I'd love to know what you guys think and where you guys are from. And you can check everything out at scrapronnie.com. And I'll see you next time.